Hello. So you're thinking of taking A-level maths. Cool. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the reasons why I think you should take A-level maths. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be certain on taking the subject. There is this sort of theory that you have to be good at maths in order to do A-level maths. And yes, that's true, you do. But you also have to want to do maths. So many people come and say, um, I really want to do maths and I'm always good at it. Um, it's not my favourite subject, but I've been good at it. That's all well and good until you start doing it and you don't enjoy it. Um, if you're good at maths, but you don't enjoy maths, then maybe rethink about taking A-level maths because it is hard. Uh, there is a lot of work and there is a lot of maths. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not going to want to do it. Tip number two is to research on the kind of things you're going to be studying during your A-level maths. When you start, you start with a few GCSE topics, things that you've already uh, that you've already come across, and then you obviously on those topics you build on things that you already know. Um, and then you introduce little ideas on the topics that you've already seen before. As you then get further in your course, you will introduce things like calculus, which is differentiation in integration, uh, which if you do GCSE further maths, you might come across then, but if you haven't, then it's something completely new. Um, A-level maths, you also do the applied side of maths. So applied is statistics and mechanics. Statistics is all about data handling, box plots, um, hypothesis testing, distributions, things that you've come across again at GCSE, but then a lot of new more topics as well. Um, and then you do something called mechanics, which is a little bit like physics. Now, personally, this is my least favorite part of maths and anyone who knows me will know that I don't like this uh, math. It's not that I don't like it. I like it when I can do it, but I just struggle when I can't and um, my brain doesn't function well for that kind of maths. You then do mechanics and mechanics is physics. So it's all about forces and bodies under forces and motion, acceleration, all those sort of keywords. Um, and basically at A-level, two thirds of your grade is pure maths and one third is applied maths. And applied, like I said, is stats and mechanics. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yes, research what you're going to be studying. It's really important that you know what you're studying and that you are interested in that kind of thing and you feel as though you're gonna be able to cope with that. Tip number three is further maths for you. So many students who take maths will also take further maths like me. Um, and I actually did my A-level maths in a year. Um, and now I'm doing my further maths in my second year. But further maths is completely different to A-level maths. Um, it's maths that you've never done before. It's introducing ideas like complex numbers, um, loads of things that you don't study in A-level maths. And also you get an option of what you want to study. So I know for the Edexcel course, which I'm doing, you have to do two core pure modules. That's a mouthful. And then you choose two other modules yourself, depending on where you want to go after you've finished the course. So in my class, we're doing decision maths and we're also doing, well, some of them are doing mechanics. That's not me. And um, I'm doing further pure. So it's all dependent on where you want to go, uh, depending on what modules you choose. Now, going back to studying A-level maths, if you study further maths, some colleges teach it together in parallel, some teach it in the first year, and in, um, then you start your further maths in your second year. But it all just depends on whether you really want a maths um, background when you're older, depends on whether you want to take further maths. It does help with A-level maths, because you're doing more maths, but the stuff that you learn in further maths, you won't get tested on in A-level maths. Tip number four, make sure you want to give up your time to studying. The only way to get better at maths is to practice, practice, practice. So if you don't want to practice your maths, and if you don't want to spend time at home um, on your own, you don't have to be on your own, <laughs> but uh, revising and doing practice questions, then you really, don't want to take A-level maths. Uh, the only way to, to do good at maths, really, I think, is just to practice. You can learn all the math, but if you don't put that into practice and you don't put that into questions and exam questions and look at mark seams, you're not going to really 
I don't think, succeeding exams, because you have to get used to practicing and putting that maths into context, into a question. Tip number five, when you're studying A-level. Hopefully that helped anyone who's thinking of doing A-level maths. If it didn't, um, well, I apologise. But if it did, then thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.